Hello everyone. Welcome to Indian Economy by Amazon. In today's news, sir, we will be discussing the important articles related to economy. From let's go to the editorial page. This article talks about the textile industry in the Southeast Asia. The article begins by saying that. Bangladesh began the textile manufacturing heavily in the 1980s after the civil war started in Sri Lanka and the market share of Sri Lanka reduced in the global market and what are the factors which caused for the increase in Bangladesh's ma manufacturing and the main factor are the supportive industrial policy by the government and two their zero duty which was imposed on the import of raw material so Bangladesh become a import come export hub they imported raw materials they manufactured textiles at a cheaper rate because of the availability of low cost of labor and they exported it back and they also invested heavily in the capital missionary and that's why bangladesh is slowly overtaking india in importing of garments but india at the same time suffers of a major major issue that is the increase in the labor cost the main cost advantage for Bangladesh is the cheap labor and for India the labor cost have been increasing and the products have become 24% more expensive so because of the competitiveness of the Bangladeshi products now all the manufacturing majorly of the ready-made garments are taking place in Bangladesh and India is being replaced as a source for manufacturing and Bangladesh is being preferred as a source. The article further goes into details. It says that lowering production cost and having free trade agreements with the Western countries is what is favoring Bangladesh, and it is becoming a third largest global exporter when it comes to ready-made garments. And even India and Pakistan are slowly in the ready-made garment sector. India holds are all, almost a four percent share with the U.S. dollars, and it's in the fifth position. But Recently, because of the COVID pandemic and the lockdowns and the manufacturing not taking, the share reduced by 0.8 percentage in 2019. Whereas Pakistan has been seeing a raise in its textile exports during 2021 and it saw almost a 25 percent raise in the textile exports. There are various positive factors with regard to India and the main being the successfully developing the backward linkages what is backward linkages when a particular manufacturing firm is there when you go backwards in the supply chain and source the raw material by yourself that is backward linkages for example there is maruti which manufactures cars in india maruti is and various small ancillary industries are there which would pr produce nuts and bolts tires and other spare parts for maruti suzuki maruti suzuki would mainly focus on the car assembly and manufacturing and branding but if Marty Suzuki goes into manufacturing of nuts and bolts tires and other spare, spare parts that is backward integration and if it goes further in the supply chain and it goes into branding marketing dealership that is forward integration in the supply chain so from your level if you go backwards in the supply chain that is backward integration and if you go further down the supply chain that is forward integration so here Indian firms went for backward integration that is a manufacturing firm in text if it goes for back backward integration means it is going for sourcing of cotton and textile with the farmers it is going for contract based farming with the cotton farmers and we also went for technical upgradation we invested heavily in the technology but at the same time when we are investing heavily in the technical textiles technical textiles are those textile industry which has the industrial uses for example firefighting equipment various nets which are used in fishing and other things and various industrial textiles all these come under technical industries technical textiles there are various range of technical textiles india is heavily invested into technical textiles but we are ready to move into and made fibers and other major drawback of Indian industry is 
a textile industry mainly manufactures based on the seasonal factors the mills would be running for certain period of month during the year and it would be closed during a certain other period it would be generally running when the cotton produce yield comes to the market and when the yield is not there the mills would be we have to avoid this that we have to go for a continuous seasonal manufacturing by holding up the raw material stock only then the economies of scale would be achieved now because when the operating facility is not used for certain period of the year even the variable cost would not be there but still the fixed cost would be there how to still pay the rent of the factory how to still fare the pay for the minimum charges for the electric connect, electricity connection how to still pay for the lease of the machinery even if you don't use it so we can avoid the fixed cost if there is economic utilization of the resources and we also fall behind in the skilling our manpower that is available is majorly unskilled because of which they are not able to upgrade into the new manufacturing processes and technologies that come into the market but bangladesh on the other hand it has invested heavily in the technology and it has specialized itself in the low value and medium market price segment of goods that is where it has the competitive advantage over india again bangladesh has its own share of challenges bangladesh majorly suffers from the high attrition and skilling challenges just like india the skill levels of bangladeshi workers also is very low and there is high attrition attrition is nothing but the rotation in the jobs number of people getting hired and fired is too high when a person is getting hired and fired very highly he cannot specialize in that particular job only when we work for a particular period of time in some job we get specialization in that job if we get hired and fired frequently the training cost would be high because you have to train the new worker on how to do the job by the time he comes into efficiency there is efficiency in his performance of the job if you fire him again you have to train the new worker so the training cost of the firm would increase so the author suggests that bangladesh has to heavily invest in training quality control product development and merchandising and creating brand so how the fourth industrial revolution would impact the textile manufacturing fourth industrial revolution is nothing but the revolution in it sector information communication technology that is happening because of robotics artificial intelligence internet of things virtual reality 3d printing and all the related information communication technology that we are seeing today and how would this impact the textile manufacturing sector the focus of the manufacturing would shift from production based machinery technology to the product cycle incorporation of digital information technology at every process in the manufacturing at every process of the product manufacturing these particular technologies would be integrated for example robotic automation would be done already we have seen robotic automation in various sectors like the automobile sector wherein the car painting the assembly would majorly be done robotic and even in textile sector if robotic automation comes in it will lead to the production efficiency compared to the human being. and especially in segments like the cutting and color accuracy the accuracy of a mission would be much higher than the human so that will lead to disruption in the job market and that will lead to various job losses and it will also lead to inequality and political stability because it is the low unskilled worker who is vulnerable section of the society who is getting affected because of the disruption of this fourth industrial revolution and if that person loses job the inequality increases because the skilled worker would anyway be employed in some other job it is the unskilled worker that is getting affected who is already poor is going to become further poor and other major issue when it comes to adopting fourth industrial revolution in technology sector we will be vulnerable to the cyber attacks we need to take care of that and currently as we discussed india's production capacity is not achieved during all periods of month but whatever the capacity the minimum capacity is there we are trying to achieve it to the full capacity and with around unemployment rate of 7% in india currently 
we would face the challenge of job creation when we go for adoption of the industrialization and digitization of the textile industry it would primarily affect the low skilled workforce and the solution for this would be integration of skilling and technological investments we need to go for skilling and reskilling of the workforce and wherever the jobs are displaced we need to provide an alternative career for the people getting displaced so that the unemployment rate won't happen at larger scale in the economy and with regarding the topic of sustainability now all the foreign companies they want sustainability in their product now there are particular brands which advertise that they have been created in a sustainable manner which doesn't impact the environment without any environment cost so this has become a new brand value this has become fad in the economy wherein the very selling point of the product is that it is a sustainable product sourced from sustainable items so bangladesh ready made garment is going for green manufacturing practices and this would conserve the energy water and other resources and it would also be attractable in the foreign market with the foreign buyers who are heavily going towards the environmental outlook and sustainability and in india almost 17 to 20% of the water pollution is happening because of the textile industry all the chemical dyes and other pollutants which are released directly into the water bodies through it is almost affecting 20% of the water in india and currently many indian companies are trying to focus on the input management so that we are trying to avoid the discharge itself directly and what the government has to do here in order to protect the industry we need to go for tax exemptions reduction in the imported technology of the capital goods provide financial incentives maintain political stability so that the foreign direct investment and have good trade relations with other countries so that there would be a technology transfer and business happening and other aspect where we need to take care is with regard to the labor we are a country with very high number of engineers and we have to invest heavily into research and development so that the r&d would help us into discovering new material of textiles and it would also help us in manufacturing of the technical textiles that we are already invested in heavily and we need to again invest in infrastructure technology we need to take advantage of the demographic dividend that we have and the government policy should help in this and because of the previous trade war which is happening between usa and china and the economic bottlenecks because of the pandemic india pakistan and bangladesh these south asian countries they have an opportunity to replace the china as an exporter to these countries becoming the exporter that author says that bangladesh's investment in technology in the last 10 years are giving it an advantage we need to learn from the bangladesh's we should also invest heavily in technology pakistan imported machinery worth almost 500 million in first half of 2019 and 20 and india proposed investment of almost 0.4 billion US dollar to establishment of all in one textile park just like the food park concept there is all in one textile park wherein everything related to textiles happening in a particular economic zone this would reduce the logistics and transportation issues because everything related to the particular industry happening by related firms in a particular area in a close geographical area the government is also trying to increase the unemployment it is providing tax rebates till 2024 on one side the government is trying to increase the competitiveness in the economy, in that particular sector and it is also providing labor stability policy stability and at the same time because of the labor codes the labor reforms are happening additional incentives are being given in the form of tax relief duty reductions and manufacturing fiber finally the author says that diversification should be the step forward because we should not focus on any particular segment of the textile industry we need to look for new product basket 
and new client base also you do not focus only on particular country for our export when it comes to textiles if that particular country imposes sanction if it it could directly impact the textile industry we need to constantly look for new products through research and development and also look for new client base and newer approaches have to be covered when it comes to compliance transparency occupational safety sustainable production etc and there has to be reskilling and upskilling of the labor force and the government support has to be given in when it comes to infrastructure capital liquidity and incentivization plus the south asian hub how india pakistan and bangladesh should emerge as the new manufacturers and the major export regions for the tailors this article gives a macroeconomic picture of the economy the article says that we all know that because of covid pandemic the economy was majorly affected and some of the economic costs would be permanent it would have a long term impact on the indian economy on the gdp especially when it comes to those goods and laborers who had migrated home the businesses which had closed during the pandemic the laborers who had migrated home from the states they were employed in they may not return to the states that were they were employed in so these particular states would suffer from labor shortage and the cost of production in these states would increase and again the labor who had migrated to their home state there would be additional supply of labor and there the labor wages would reduce because the supply of labor is high and the demand for labor is low because those states are not the big manufacturing states so the cost of labor wages would come down and the rise in unemployment will increase at the same time we have been constantly discussing that the rural consumption demand is because of the disposal incomes got affected during the pandemic the consumption needs demand is and all those sectors which are contact intensive sectors is tourism hotels transportation all these sectors got majorly affected due to the pandemic and even when the other sectors are improving and they are performing better than the pandemic pre pandemic number these sectors which were contact intensive they are still not able to recover completely at the same time we are seeing fresh challenges like the russia ukraine conflict increase in oil and commodity prices could have an impact on the on the manufacture and majorly research has shown that for the middle and lower income households the health cost are the major outgo and a sudden increase in health cost without an insurance policy would push the middle income or lower income family below the poverty line that is the indian experience and for a poor family inflation cost the major thing because inflation affects everybody from the rich to the poor and the major affected vulnerable section is the poor person because a increase of 10% in prices of food products may not affect a rich person who has high disposable but it heavily affects the consumption pattern of the poor rural family again we have been seeing the increase in oil prices coal prices and not only that even the fertilizers seed oil edible oil wheat corn all these things would get affected because of the russia ukraine conflict and at the same time there would be some section of farmers who grow wheat who may gain because of the export but the major families that get impacted due to inflation are the vulnerable section poor people in the rural economy the editorial also says that the prolonged conflict of russia ukraine in europe would push the entire global economy the previous charts we read how the global growth would be almost reduced by 0.85 percentage and in europe it would almost get impacted to 0.4 percentage of growth because of the conflict but there is a conflicting scenario where the government direct tax revenue collections are increasing heavily the gst collections are increasing heavily they are breaking records over record so on one side the government is getting revenue because certain sectors of the economy are performing very well and they have impact they have performed better than the pre pandemic level on the other side 
the in the contact inter sectors like food and transport in the tourism sector the healthcare sector poor are getting affected more and more so the article finally ends by saying that the government has to make sure it will increase the rural consumption demand without the rural consumption demand the economy would downward growth because if the consumption demand falls the demand for goods and services would fall production would fall in the long term that would mean lower incomes in the future this would again mean lower consumption so in order to change that the government has to take fiscal steps and go for easy monetary policy so that people would get money and people would spend it and the consumption demand in rural areas increases and the next stage of economic recovery that is the private investments increase the money wise page these articles are not needed for the exam again we can skip those are the articles related to economy today